Hello students, in this video we will discuss the solutions of question number 18, 40, 41, 42 and 43. These questions are related to the dihedral group and belongs to the exercises of chapter 2. So let us start solving them one by one. Question number 18. We need to list the members of K and L. So what is K? K is collection of squares of all elements of D4. So D4 has the element R0, that is R0, R90, R180, R270, H, V, D and D dash. So here is the Kelly table I have already constructed. So let us see when we square R0, that is R0. So we will get R0 already. So let us keep them in set k so when we square r0 we will get r0 itself squaring r90 we will get here when r0 uh, r0 applied to r0 we are getting r0 when r90 is applied over r90 we are getting r180 so this is different from r0 so let us write here again r180 and r180 we are getting R0 again, so it is already there, so we are not writing it in K. Similarly, uh, R270 and R270, we are getting R180 again, so this is already there. So, until now, we got only two elements R0 and R180. So, let us proceed further. So, when H, H is nothing but flip, horizontal flip, and apply to horizontal flip, as we know that when we flip two times, then we get the identity element. Uh, that is the same element. So, what we get here from, we can see that from the table, H and H. So, from here, we are getting R0. So, R0 already there. So, V and V. So, from here, we are saying R0 again. So, similarly, we are getting R0, R0, R0. R0. For any flip F, when it uh, we operate two times, that is f0, f0, that is f square is always identity. So, we are having only two elements in K. So, let us see uh, the set L. L is a collection of all those elements of D4 such that uh, x square equals to E. That is, we need to find those elements of D4 which upon squaring gives the identity element that is which are self inverse so of course in l uh, r0 will be there because r0 and r0 when apply it uh, two times r0 into r0 so we get r0 itself then again what other elements these elements will be coming all flippings so let us write them H, P, D, and D dash. This is very much clear from the table because H and H we are getting here R0. So this and what other elements are there? Uh, we can see here R180 and R180. So R180. So these are the elements. So what other elements can be there? Uh, let us see if. Uh, R270, R270 and R270 when they are applied, uh, that is R270 square of this one. So, we are getting R180 and this is not equals to E that is R0. So, uh, R0 cannot be member of this set. So, self inverse element are R0 and then uh, self inverse element R90, R90 cannot be there because uh, what we are he here we see R90, R90 that is this is giving R180. So R180 and R180 this is giving R0. So this is the complete set uh, L. So let us consider the next question. Question number 40. We need to find X such that this holds. So, let us write 
R90 V X H equals to T dash. So we need to find this. So let us write R90 V X H and let us apply H inverse from the right. So D inverse and H inverse from the right. So this implies that R90 V X and this is nothing but identity uh, R0 this is equals to D prime and H inverse H inverse so this implies that R90 V X equals to D and H is flip so H inverse equals to H already as we see uh, because uh, because h square equals to identity that is r0 so now again uh, from the left we can operate inverse of r90 r90 uh, inverse of this one is r270 so let us apply from the left r270 R90 Vx R270 D prime. This is equals to this is identity. So we have Vx equals to R270 and D prime. So uh, we have of course I forgot to write here H. So H is there. So now we need to remove V from the left. So V is also a flip. So let us write x and uh, let us operate v inverse from the left and equals to v inverse r here h is there r270 d prime and this is h so because v is also flip so v inverse is nothing but v so this is equals to this gives a identity so x equals to v R270 D prime and H. So this is the uh, required value of X for which this holds. So let us consider next question. Question number 41. In question number 41, we have been given F1 and F2. F1 and F2 are distinct reflections in dihedral group Dn. Prove that f1 f2 cannot be r0 so we will prove it by contradiction so let f1 f2 equals to r0 in contrary we are assuming so we should have some contradiction from here so uh, this implies that f1 equals to r0 and then f2 we have just applied f2 uh, from right and that is uh, we have used here uh, f1 f2 and f2 because f2 is self inverse so r0 r0 and f2 so this is nothing but identity so f1 equals to r0 F2. This is what we have written here. So, but what we see here, R0 means rotation with 0 degree. So, R0 and F2 is nothing but F2. So, this implies that F1 equals to F2, and this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. as f1 is not equals to f2 this is given in the question consider the next question question number 42 in this question also f1 and f2 are distinct reflections in a dihedral group dn and assume that f1 f2 equals to f2 f1 then we need to prove that f1 and f2 equals to r180 so let us start 
so uh, we have been given f1 f2 equals to f2 f1 so from here we can write f1 f2 and just multiply uh, from the right f1 inverse and then equals to f2 f1 and f1 inverse so f1 inverse uh, inverse of f1 is nothing but f1 inverse of f2 because f uh, f1 and f2 are flip flips so uh, they are self inverse so what we have f1 f2 and we can write f1 equals to f2 and this is identity so similarly this implies that f1 f2 f1 and f2 equals to e that is r0 the, we have repeated here the same process by multiplying by uh, f2 inverse f2 inverse that is f2 from right in this one so from here we have f1 f2 this is the square of this one equals to r0 so this me implies that uh, the square of now we need to find some element in dn which gives which square gives a uh, identity element so from here it is very much clear that f1 and f2 this is equals to r1 at r1 at because when uh, now we apply this f1 and f2 and the square of this one then r1 at r1 at and this gives r0 r0 so uh, this is a this is the answer of uh, this proof this result f1 f2 equals to r1 at now let us consider the next question let r be any fixed rotation and f is any fixed reflection in a dihedral group then we need to prove this one so solution is uh, simple that uh, as we know that uh, flipping when operated on reflection gives a flip rotation and uh, flipping when operated or joined together they give a flip so we use this one here so flipping and rotation flipping and rotation because this is also flip and this is also flip so both are the same flip and also we know that if f is flip then f square is nothing but identity so this should be r0 this identity is r0 so uh, because this is flip this is also flip so f r to the power k into f r to the power k equals to identity so from here f r to the power k f r to the power k equals to r0 that is identity so now operate since also we know that this one uh, f square is identity that is f inverse equals to f so we operate by f inverse from left r to the power k and f is here so f r to the power k equals to r0 so this is nothing but identity so r to the power k f r to the power k equals to r0 uh, here we i forgot f inverse so here f so this is equals to f so r to the power k f r to the power k equals to f that is a flip so this proves the required result so with this I'll stop today.